In this video, we'll look at various methods of waste water treatment. The purpose of waste water treatment is to remove hazardous materials, reduce the BOD, the biochemical oxygen demand, and kill microorganisms. Waste water treatment methods are classified as primary, secondary, or tertiary treatments. Each stage of treatment reduces the level of the pollution and also the BOD, the biochemical oxygen demand. So we'll start by looking at some examples of primary treatment. So filtering out insoluble solid objects, removing floating objects from the surface of the water, sedimentation uses gravity to remove solids that sink to the bottom of a sedimentation tank, and flocculation uses chemicals that allow suspended particles to join together. Next we look at secondary treatment. Secondary treatment involves biological treatment called the activated sludge process. Wastewater is mixed with bacteria-laden sludge and oxygen which allow the bacteria to break down organic matter. The water is passed into a sedimentation tank where the active sludge is collected and removed. Next we look at the tertiary treatment. Heavy metal ions such as CD2+, PB2+, and HG+, can be removed by precipitation as this solubility in water is very low. Here's an example of cadmium 2 plus ions being removed with hydrogen sulfide gas. Phosphate ions can be removed by the addition of Ca2 plus or Al3 plus ions. And here we have the Al3 plus ions reacting with the phosphate ion to give you aluminium phosphate AlPO4. Nitrates are highly soluble in water so cannot be removed by precipitation. Ion exchange is used to remove nitrates from wastewater. So here's an example of ion exchange where the hydroxide ion, the OH negative ion, is exchanged with the NO3 negative, the nitrate ion. Nitrates can also be removed by biological methods. Anaerobic organisms called denitrifying bacteria turn the nitrogen in nitrates into atmospheric nitrogen.